What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked up ladder with this G-Max Lapras and Rabombe team. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel, all the subscriptions, all the likes, and everybody who just tunes in and views the channel it really goes a long way. So on this team, like I said, we got G-Max Lapras here. You guys already know what it does. Drops that big G-Max Ice Renaissance move, whatever it's called, and drops an Aurora Veil right then and there. But we have Rabombe with it. So this Lapras has that weakness policy. Rabombe has absorbed the trigger that weakness policy. Then we can eventually swap speeds with that, making our Lapras faster and stronger. And then we have Pollen Puff to actually give it some more health. We also have Incineroar right here as a nice little support mom with a normal move set of Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, Parting Shot, and Fake Out with that Intimidate. And Citrus Berry. Usually you see these things with the Guava Berries or something like that, but this one's rocking out with the Citrus Berry. Then we got Sylveon over here. Another back end mon normal moveset with her with hyper voice quick attack mystical fire lower that special attack and protect We got Mimi Mims over here Mimi Poo over here with play rough shadow sneak taunt I really do like that it has taunt we can actually taunt some tailwind user or trick room users like this Mimikyu is going to be huge for stopping trick room Because as it has trick room to counter trick room and taunt to stop Pokemon from using that move It also has that light orb to do big damage and then in the final spot we have Assault Vest Gujar gonna be able to eat up shots with that Sap Sipper as well. And he is physical attacking. Like, look at his moveset. He is breaking swipe, power whip, rock slide, and superpower. So he's gonna be tons of fun to use as I don't really use physical attacking Gujars. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Metal Code is at the bottom of the screen. And if you do use it, let me know how you guys do with it. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some teams with this Bumblebee and Giant Water Turtle team. Okay, so this is going to be a little tough here. He probably has a Life Orb Hustle Dracos out there, which is going to be tough to counter with this team. And he has a competitive Milotic, so that's scary. So we can't lead our Incineroar. We cannot lead our Lapras. Like, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Let me think. Let me think. Do I just go Sylveon? I think, yeah, Sylveon will probably be the best turn one Pokemon with Rabombe as well. Maybe Rabombe. Like, I want Rabombe in here. And then maybe not even bringing that Lapras turn one. Or do you have no? We gotta bring the Lapras in later. I'm definitely bringing Sylveon on turn one. So that's just a smart play because that Life Orb, Hustle, Draco's Ult can run all over the place. And I can't leave my Incineroar just in case he goes competitive mildly. That could be a disaster. That could be really, really bad. But I think I'm gonna go Mimikyu here. I think I'm gonna go Mimikyu and then go Robombe and, uh, and Lapras in the back. Is that a good call? I think that's a good call. Or do I bring Lapras turn one? No, 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 no. We're going to go Mimikyu here. I can eventually taunt some Pokemon. Whatever he wants to do, we can just figure out what he's trying to do and kind of cancel it out right then and there. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, Rabombe. Oh, I should have led Rabombe. I could just speed swap that uh, that Draco Zolt because we're probably faster than that. And then just go into a Hyper Voice. Bruh, I should have did that. I should have did that. I did not think of that. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head in the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. We've been streaming so, so much. And we've been uh, doing some viewer battles and viewer tournaments on Sunday. So if you guys are interested in viewer tournaments, go down there. Hit that follow button. Turn your notifications Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there at that time if you want to join the viewer tournament. But he does go into competitive Milotic. I could have totally led Rabombe and uh, Lapras easily. Easily I could have done that. That would have been type nice. Um, I'm just going to go into a Hyper Voice here. Just send that, and then I think I'm just gonna go into a. Do I taunt? Do I taunt the what's it called? The Milotic? Do I taunt the Milotic? How should I play this one? I kind of want to swap. I kind of do want to swap, but hmm. Who would I swap into? My Milotic? Or not my Milotic? My uh, Lapras? But I think I'm gonna go definitely Hyper Voice right here. Just deal a little bit of damage, and I think I'm just gonna go into a. Uh, I kind of want to taunt that Milotic. I feel like that Milotic's possibly gonna coil up or something along those lines. Hmm. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm going to taunt the Milotic. See what it does. See what it does. I'm thinking to see the Coiling or something like that. I knew this thing was probably Snarling or Will O Wisping. Because for Snarling, he's going to drop that special attack, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And we're going to taunt this uh, Milotic. Hopefully, it's going for something like a, uh, I don't know, like a, b -b 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 what is it called? A Coil or a Hypnosis. And he knocks off her disguise like that. Taunt comes in. Come here, boy. Come here. What you want? He's probably going to burn me next turn, which is kind of scary. That's here, and this thing goes for a muddy water. Ooh, just straight for attack. You guys not playing around. He goes straight for the attack move. We're gonna be able to eat up though. Not too bad, not too bad. And um, it's weird that Sylveon is the slowest on the field. It is weird that Sylveon is the slowest on the field. Let me see these uh Pokemon speeds. Let me see these Pokemon speeds. Is this trick is this trick room? Is this like a trick room team that's like super viable with it? Yeah, I think this one plays all the trick room very, very well. Let's see. I mean speed, this thing has no EVs in speed. This thing does, this thing's speedy little boy. 
This thing's still really speedy. Uh, I think I gotta run Trick Room here. I think I do gotta run Trick Room, so I'm gonna go for it actually here. And I think I'm just going to. Do I just protect here? Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect now. I'm gonna send this Trick Room. I'm gonna try to get this rolling. Try to get going from there. These guys both have to attack, so I'm probably gonna see maybe a Snarl or a Flamethrower into a, uh, a Muddy Water. Alright, guys, here comes the Snarl. Yeah, Snarl into Muddy Water, which is fine. We should be able to eat up. We should be able to eat up just fine. And then McHugh should be able to get off this Trick Room, and then we should be able to swap in maybe our Lapras after this thing goes out. Which, is, uh, which I'm 100% fine with. I think both my mods are slower. Let's see what happens here. Boop. We eat. We do eat. Let's go. Let's get it. Trick Room comes out. You're... Send it, baby. What you want? What you want? Then do that. And then I'm just going to go into a... Uh, I really want to go into Protect, but I guess I'll just go into another, another Hyper Voice. And then if I want to... Actually, I would rather Shadow Sneak because that thing's going to take me out. So I'm just going to Shadow Sneak over on the Milotic. Do a little bit of damage there before they take me out. Before the Milotic actually just sends a Money Water and says... Takes me out. Says bye-bye. But Sylveon's going to go first. Oh, no. He's just going to withdraw. The Sylveon is the slowest right now. He's going to go probably into his Mimikyu. No, his Togekiss comes in here, which I'm totally fine with. Once, like I said, once the Mimikyu goes out, we can rock out into that Lapras. And then once the Sylveon goes out, we'll get the Rabambe up in there. But there we go. Mimikyu's dead. He gets off one little shot before he rolls out. And then we get off a Hyper Voice. Send that little boy. Not bad damage over on that mouth. If you get a crit on it, that's why. I was going to say, why we get a nice big jump there. But we'll take it. We'll take that all day. Like, I'm worried. Like, I know it's coming in soon. I know what he has coming all, uh, in soon. We're going to get a little Lapras here. I think he's going to take out my, uh, what's it called soon? I hope, I'm hoping he takes out my Sylveon. Or do I just swap right here? I don't want to go for speed swap. Actually, I, I would rather just trigger the weakness policy. I'm just going to, uh, go for another Hyper Voice. See if we can get some damage off. I'm just going to send this G-Max Resonance coming over. Let's go. Did I call it Ren Renaissance in, in the, uh, in the beginning? I feel like I did, but it's all good. We're chilling. G-Max Lapras teams are so strong. They really are. Like, we're down the hole here, but once we set up this reward barrel, we could be chilling. Like, I just need to trigger this thing as weak as possible with the absorb. That's why I'm hoping they double into my, uh, they double into my, uh, the Sylveon. I hope they double into my Sylveon. So I get my Revambe out. Just do a little, little absorb damage. Get that super effective. I don't think it's sad. It's not sad because he's flying in bug. Or he might be fairy in bug. I, th I know he's not grass. And then just trigger that weak as possible and be able to roll out strong. Let's see what happens here. And we have the Trick Room up as well. So Follow Me comes out. So he's not going to take out Sylveon this turn. We're going to have to wait till next turn. Well, so I'm hoping we can take out that. What's it called here? I'm hoping we can take out uh, both. Do we get the KO on one of them? Nope. Actually, we probably will. The, the, yeah, the Red the Resonance is going to take out the Togekiss. A little bit of Stab Ice damage. Get that Aurora Veil up. We eating, baby. Aurora Veil is up. Can you take out my Sylveon? Probably not now. Probably not. But honestly, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this right now. I'm cool with this. I'm thinking he has Draco Zolt in the back. And if you have Draco Zolt in the back, I'm totally fine with that. I know you have Arcanine. I know you're going to come in here, possibly snarl up, all that good stuff. Not very effective on my Lapras, but you drop my accuracy. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You're going to drop my accuracy. I think he's waiting to get in that, uh, what's it called? I think he's 100% waiting to get in, uh, that Draco Zolt. He's probably going to go Arcanine here. Oh, it goes Draco Zolt turn one. He's got a Dynamax here. Do I say he guards? I mean, I'm definitely going for Hyper Voice here, taking out that. And I got to double into this. I got to double into this thing right here, right now, considering that the Hyper Voice is just going to take out the Milotic. 50 Dynamax to the Max Guards. I'm totally fine with that. Like I said, the Hyper Voice is going to take out the Milotic, and then we can drop it next turn. Like, this was actually a pretty bad play by him to go into Zolt right here. Unless he swaps out. He's going to swap out. Yeah, okay. Never mind. That's totally fine. He's going to go into Arcanine. And then Draco Zolt's going to have to come out next turn, and he's going to guard up next turn as well. So I gotta read that. I gotta just make sure I read that. I gotta. I don't know how many turns we have left in tricking. Like, dude, this is gonna come down to the wire. Like I said, this is a, just a huge start for me. Is this Draco Zolt? Is it Draco Zolt? Imagine if I would have made the read. Just send that guys over here. That could have been huge. But I can always uh, speed swap that. I can always speed swap it with the Rabambe. Make that thing just a little bit slower. Just a little bit slower, but still, Rabambe, it, it, the speed swap doesn't really do too much. Eats up his Citrus Berry. But the Roar Veil is going to come up clutch. How many turns left in Trick Room? I think one? I think one we have? That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. No, not... Yeah, in the Trick Room. I think it's one. One or two. It's one or two. But I, th I think it's one. I think it's one. So I think he's going to die to Max. I think he's 100% going to Max Guard here. I think that is the play. And then I think we just send the Water Going out. It really depends how many turns left in Trick Room. We have one. We have one. So, yeah. I'd say we just go for the Geyser. Predicting the Max Guard. 
shooting that over, taking out the Arcanine. But he might go for double protect, but dude, this thing has to guard. This thing 100% has to guard. Oh, he just protects normally. Okay, he just protects normally. That's totally fine by me. He protects normally. Hyper Voice comes out. He blocks that up. That's totally fine. And the real question is, who are you going after? Are you going after my, my, uh... We're gonna take out the Arcanine, though. The Arcanine's dead. But are you going to take out my Sylveon or my, uh, Lapras? That's the real question. I wish we had a lightning rod here because we could totally easily read this and just make bang, yo, know, give me that electric move. But it's either we're getting a hyper voice off here, but it's minus one. Or a big old ice beam. It really depends. It really depends. And then we have Rebomb, so. But he's definitely Dynamax. He's coming down to the wire. It really is coming down to the wire. Okay. I can't swap now. Like, I, I legit can't swap now. And he's got to be going after my Lapras, right? So I'm going to just drop a hyper voice. I could Parasong. Do I Paris on here? I mean, that's three turns I gotta waste. Let me see this for Bombay. That's three turns I gotta waste, and I don't think I can waste three turns. Do we really think we can waste three turns? Hmm. Do I really think I can waste three turns? But I, I feel like it would be a better option for us to just get off these moves. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it would just be a better option just to get off these moves. Or should I play the Paris on? You know, I'm gonna play this Paris on. He's probably gonna take me out, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Paris on. I'm gonna go for the Paris on. I wish I'd protect on this uh, Lapras. That could be huge. But Dynamax coming out here. He's definitely Max Lightning. But I'm gonna get off this Hyper Voice. I can potentially protect next turn, and I have a Sash as well on my Rebomb. But yeah, dude, he's gonna 100%. If he sends Max Lightning, like, yo, we dead. We are dead, yo. We're going. But I wonder how much this Hyper Voice can do. Do this. He's gotta be Life Orb Hustle, right? Life Orb Hustle and Bustle. So it's just big old damn Jep Lightning coming out here. Ah, leave me alone. That's why I wish I'd protect. Yeah, we're dead. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Big old damage there. He gets the electric terrain out. Electric terrain is coming here. And we're going to get a hyper voice off. How much damage are we doing with the hyper voice? How much damage are we doing with this hyper voice? Let's see. The life orb. I told you. It's life orb hustle. Hyper voice comes out here. Oh my god, yo. Can we do another turn of hyper voicing? We have, we have speed swap and palm puff. Like, palm puffs are only source of damage here. They're only source of damage. Who do I think is faster? It's the real question. Do I think we're a bomb base faster than that Draco's ult? Potentially. Potentially faster. Wait, let, let me see something real quick. Let me see something on this Rebombe. Because if this Rebombe speed is actually decently high, I can speed swap into Sylvia. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Is this thing Jolly too? It might be Jolly too. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Let me see this thing. It's naive. Does that boost speed? I totally forget. I'm thinking this thing totally outspeeds. So let me try this. Let me try this. Let's go speed swap into Sylveon. Give him that speed. Hopefully we're able to outspeed and then dump on the Draco Soul, right? We should be able to. Yeah, Rabombe goes first. Yo, give this to me. Give me this win, baby. What you want? What you want? Give it to me, yo. The plays. The plays by Jeans to get that win. Sylveon, Sylveon comes in clutch. Good thing I brought her because I knew the Draco Soul was going to be a huge threat to us. But, yo, GG to this guy. We go 1-0. and Now we can hop into battle number two and try to go 2-0 with this squad. That speed swap play, though, that came up clutch. Sylveon ends up winning it for us in battle number one. But here we go. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy has a team that I think I used before, right? Was this a uh, Cybertron team? I believe it is. He has the Rock Wrecker, uh, Rhyperior with the Dust Cops, with the Bulldoze, all that good stuff. Extra Jill. He has Lightning Rod. So, I mean, I don't have any Lightning, so I don't really have to worry about it. But who do I think he's going to lead? Probably indeed try to roll Trick Room. I'm going to lead the Mimikyu. I'm going to get Mimikyu rolling out here. And then I'm going to roll, mm, do I even roll Incineroar? If he goes in DD, I can't use fake out, so I'm definitely gonna go in DD into uh but I could bring Rabombe. I'm gonna go in DD into No, not in DD. Um Mimikyu into someone else. But I think I wanna bring that Lapras and the Gudra as well. Do I just lead the Gudra? I mean Gudra could be a solid lead. Or do I just lead in Cinema? Because then I can always parting shot out on whatever Pokemon's on the side. But it's probably gonna be a Trick Room user, so he's probably gonna try to roll Trick Room. So I'm just gonna uh, roll Mimikyu here. And see how it plays out. I'm going to go Mimikyu. I think I'm just going to go Sylveon here. I think Mimikyu, Sylveon with the Lapras. And do I go Rabombe in the back? Or that speed swap at the end? That's just so clutch. It's just so clutch. But I'm thinking I'm just going to bring Gujra here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to bring Gujra here for another option for Dynamax in here. Because my Pokemon are already rather slow enough. They are already slow enough. We're chilling. We're chilling. I, I maybe should have brought the Rabombe. Because still, like, in a Trick Room, I could still speed swap and take the slower. I could always do that. and Because we know the Trick Room's coming here. And... We know he's probably leading in DD and trying to roll a trick him, or he might just go straight into the Lapras. Let's see what he does. 
Let's see what you do. He goes Lapras and Indeedee. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. I mean, so he's not going to go for Trick Room. He's not going Trick Room turn one. So how can I play this one out? If he doesn't get off Trick Room, we could be potentially really, really chilling here. He'd be really chilling here. But he's got to have Raichu in the back end if he's not playing the Trick Room side of the game. He's not playing Trick Room side of the game. He's going to drop Aurora Bell, obviously. This thing's going to get a special defense boost. And how could we play this one? How could we do this? We definitely have Speed Advantage. So I'm just going to go into... Hmm, I can't taunt in DDs. No, it's normal type. So, bro, we can't taunt it in DD. I'll just go for a nice solid play rough. And then I think I'm just going to mystical fire over on this Lapras. No, we can't. Because it's just going to go for a follow me. So I'm just going to hyper voice. Try to deal some damage all, all around. I want to drop that thing special attack. But it's just like, bro, you know the follow me is coming out here. Or helping hand. Oh, whoa. Oh, there. And he's going to take off my disguise first. First of all, play rough comes out here. DD avoids the attack. Like, bro, yo, what you mean? What do you mean? Even avoid that attack and helping hand kind of goes to waste. We go, yeet. We do some nice damage. Your Lapras taking a good bit. Is he even going to Dynamax now? And I'm going to, I'm going to double up into you here. I'm doubling up into you. I'll take this one slow. I thought he was totally Dynamaxing. He does not pull the trigger. I, I guess he was trying to uh, knock off my disguise. But if he really wanted to do that, why would he free try? I guess he was uh, seeing this uh, Sylveon as a big threat. But I'm like, nah, yo. We eat up, dude. Sylveon's actually a big tank. For some reason, it's just a tank. A special defense tank. It can eat up some solid shots. Helping hand freeze drive from that thing? No problem. No problem at all, yo. We eat that one up. Yeah, I love Mimikyu. Like, their designs are so funny. Some of their designs are hilarious. But here comes the Dynamax now. He's gonna go Lapras. But I can see them, like, trying to, like, come up with Mimikyu. They're probably just, like, sitting there like, okay, we need a Pokemon. They're like, well, everyone loves Pikachu. And they're like, yeah, but we already have Pikachu. And he's just like, how about we make a dead Pikachu and make him into like a costume ghost? And everyone's like, yeah, we love him. <laughs> everyone's like, that's the coolest Pokemon ever. Let's make him super, super strong. Why? Yo, what is going on here? What is going on? A double miss play rough? Like, get out of my face. I'm not dealing with this today. He goes with the heal pulse. Gets some HP back. And here goes the geyser. Hopefully he doesn't get off of a resonance. But take out my Lapras. I mean, it's not my Lapras. Take out my Sylveon. I'll be cool with it. I wish he kind of did. It's a crit, bruh, bruh, because I would have Dynamax and then Max Guard at the next Mon. Like, I still have my Disguise. Like, we're still, uh, chilling pretty fine here. Hyper Voice comes out here. It's a little bit damaging. Like, what you mean we keep missing these attacks? I mean, I'm going to just take out the Indeedy here. Hopefully, we don't miss a third play rough in a row. Like, what you mean? The game is trash, bro. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He's got to be dropping the Resonance here. I mean, if he doesn't, thank, thank you very much. A play rough comes out here, just takes that out. That's easy, peasy cake right there. How much damage we're doing? It's, no, he's probably he might drop the geyser. I mean, I think he's dropping the resonance over on my Sylveon. Let's see. Now we go straight for the lightning. Okay. He wants to set electric terrain for some reason. Maybe for the Raichu to come in here. That's easy fake out. And he gets another crit. Yo, this dude's two for two on the crits. This thing holding scope lens. Like, what's he doing? He's got to get the Raichu up in here, right? He's got to get the Raichu up in here, yeah, the, 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 the Raichu up in here. And I think I'm just going to go Gudra and Dynamax this thing. I, th I think this is going to be a safe call. The Dynamax Gudra, I don't need to roll trick him. I do not need to roll trick him. I have all these stab moves. He's going to go Raichu. And I can just go into a play rough. He cannot fake me out. He's going to fake out the Gudra. He's definitely going to fake out the Gudra. And he's going to, oh no, he's going to drop ice. So I got to watch out for this. I got to watch out for this. So I'm going to play rough over on you. Do I double up on this thing? I think I got a Dynamax. And, um... By Dynamax, like, this thing's gonna drop ice. So we gotta take out the Lapras. It's, he, there's no way he's guarding here. So I'm gonna double into that. I think we have a uh, big enough speed advantage over the Lapras. And then I think I gotta make sure this thing goes down with a, uh... With this move. Hmm. Or do I go with the Stab? Or I can drop the Rock? Dude, I got so many options. I have so many options. I think we gotta make sure this thing goes down with the, uh, either the power whip. Yeah, let's go max over growth. It's 140, yo. It's 140. It's not stab, but still, it's big old damage. It's big old damage. Let's see what happens here. It's like Lapras gotta go. I, I was scared of the ice dropping on me, but if I could take it out beforehand, that's totally fine. He'll have no dynamax. He'll waste his fake out turn on my cruiser because he cannot hit my mimi moves. He cannot hit my mimi moves with the fake outs. No Klapskis for him. We we'll get big gooey mon over here, popping off. Come on, yo, dude, I love this team so far. I've always been a fan of, like, Rabambe teams, even though I only use Rabambe, like, once. I don't know, there's something about, like, the speed swaps and all that. But there we go, we eat up the fake out just as I want it. And we should be able to take out Lapras here, no problem. Lapras should go down. I should be able to outspeed. 
may drop its attack as well. There's no way of seeing out speed, right? Not a chance, yeah, you know, not a chance. Overgrowth comes out. No Aurora Veil for this thing. No Aurora Veil. He doesn't take up on his opportunities, and we eat up, and we take advantage of him. So, we're sitting here. We're sitting pretty right here. We got two more Dynamax turns left. It comes down to a uh, a 2v3, and we have Lapras in the back end, and it's raining, and it's raining. And Mimikyu's still sitting here with his life orb, chilling. I can run Trick Room if I please. We can just do a lot of different things. Let's see. Does he have Raichu in the back? Like, Raichu, I'm uh, not, not Raichu, Rhyperior. I appear you're still like scary here. Still a little scary, you know? I don't know why, it just is. But Raichu's probably gonna start nuzzling around. I throw a nuzzle on my Gudra. He goes extra. Okay. Extra uh, more of a threat. 100%. Um, I think I roll Trick Room here if I can. I think it's safe to say I roll Trick Room if I can. So I'm gonna try to pull off this Trick Room. Then I'm just going to roll out into a uh, Worm Wind. Drop the thing's physical attack and throw this over on the Raichu side. But yeah, it's, it's safe to roll Trick Room. Save to roll a trick room. Because if I can get this off, my Gudra and Lapras are 100% slower than this Raichu and X Drill. He went with the non trick room side. X Drill over here for a little bit of speedy speed. But yo, big mistake by him. Big mistake by him. Because we coming up hot. Nuzzle comes out, which I'm fine with. You can lower my speed if I can get this trick room off. There's no way he. Actually, an Iron Head should be able to take me out. So that's kind of scary. No, he goes for a Rock Slide. Yo, Mimikyu, do not flinch here, my dude. Do not flinch. Mimikyu cannot flinch. I need you here, Mimi Mims. I'm surprised he didn't go into an Iron Head just dump on me. And this thing's not even Sash. This match is just, like, in the bag. This match is in the bag. Dude, 2-0 with this team. Easy, baby. Yo, we eating up today. We are eating up today. Yo, Gujra gets in here. And Mimikyu does switch with your main. But I'm totally fine with it. Like, I got one more turn with Gujra. Gujra's going to eat up. Hopefully, it's just not paralyzed. And we got the rain. We got Lapras. Oh, my God. This is easy. It's light work. It's light work. And he doesn't have no Dynamaxes. Um, I'm still going to go Shadow Sneak. I'm gonna go Shadow Sneak for sure, just in case he Iron Heads me. And I'm just gonna go into a, a Knuckle. I'm gonna go into a Knuckle. Because if he Iron Heads me, then I don't even get off a turn. And if this thing has the Sash, then the Shadow Sneak will just take it off. So, yah ye, baby, get it. Well, this thing is minus one. Oh, oh, dude, that did some big old damage. That did some big old damage. Rock Side comes out here. Mimikyu avoids it, and uh, Gudra will eat that up easily, baby. That's a tasty snack right there. Yo, we running good today. We playing real good, playing real well. We chilling, relaxing, filth. Max up comes out and bang, yo, 2 and 0, oh, dude. I'm loving this team. I'm loving this team. I might have to start using this on the rank ladder. It's just so much fun and easy to play. Let's get it. Third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Sandstorm team rolling out with Dragapult, Togekiss, Incineroar, and Rotom Wash. Is it safe to go into the Rabombe Lapras lead? Like, who do I really think he's going to lead? T-Tar Extra? Like, that would be scary if he goes T-Tar Extra Drill. I mean, then he can just, or if he goes in Cinema, he can fake out, and then it's like, bro, yo, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? But, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Who do I really think he's going to go? Like, I really want to go Rabambe into Lapras, but at the same time, I do not want to, but at the same time, I really do want to try to do it, so we going for it. We going for it, baby. I'm going to go Rabambe, Lapras. I want to trigger that weakness policy. I'm going to bring Incineroar in the back end, and then I think Sylveon is the safe call, as it can run some work all over these Pokemon. But let's get it. Let's go. We have Mystical Fire for the extra. We got the Fairy Moves for the T-Tar and that Dragapult. Like, ooh. We, yo. They don't want the smoke. They don't want it. They don't want it. This is this seems safe to go into. Like, it, it's tough because if he goes extra drill T-Tar, I still should be able to get off one turn with Rabambe. Like, Rabambe should be able to outspeed the T-Tar and the extra cannot one tap it because it's Sash. But if he goes in Incineroar with something else, then it's like, bro, okay, he's just going to start off with a fake out and then we're sitting in a tough position. But if I can just get off this Absorb Dynamax and roll out from there, it's, it, dude, we can run something. We can do some mean work, set the rain, set the roar bell so we can go up more and more and just roll out from there. But we're going up against Cam. Like, what you want, Cam? You don't want the smoke, yo. We're coming off two in a row. We had that awesome speed swap in game one. And then in the second battle, we just rolled out with that Kudra and owned up that battle. <laughs> but he goes Togekiss and x -Drill. Um, okay. I'm totally cool with it. I mean, he has Follow Me. Like, Follow Me's tough, so I cannot hit that so mm, bruh okay so that is tough that is tough but i'm still gonna dynamax and i'm still gonna drop the resonance over on the side and, like i need this thing to get get gone like, i need this thing to get gone like it's so tough it's like bro yo what do i do what do i do here if i swap i think i gotta swap because follow me is just gonna be like it's gonna, just gonna be annoying place so i'm gonna drop this extra drills uh this extra drills attack here like i can't do anything if he just rolls follow me you know what i'm saying Watch, he's not going to do it this turn. I probably could have rolled it. Let's see. Intimidate comes out here. Let me get the next one, 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 one,
And is he going for the follow me and the Dynamax with the extra roll? He's not Dynamaxing anything. I think he's going for the Rock Slide. Oh, if he didn't go into follow me, yo, we could have triggered this thing so easily and it would have been beautiful. But I think Rock Slide will actually trigger our weakness policy as well. So I'm totally cool with that and saving that Rabambe for that back end. Just getting this uh, physical attack drop. Right, because isn't Rock super effective to us? I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. Let's see what happens here. Swords Dance. Oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone, little 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 guy. I think goes for Swords Dance. Not even for a follow me either. So we could have did this. And he yawns. This little booger yawns. Okay, so... Resonance comes out here, so we get the war veil. This thing's minus one, and we drop this on this thing. Can we do some mean old damage to it? Okay, yeah, we bring it down very, very low. Um, how do I play this now? I'm thinking extra drills Dynamax, and so I'm just gonna pick out the uh, toe kiss, take it out, and then throw some water and throw some water over on you. I'm gonna go there. I'm just gonna pick out you and take you out, and then I can eventually roll into a flare. But it's like I, I feel like we're sitting pretty fine here. He's only plus one, and we have a war veil, so it's not like he's like, like astronomically strong i mean he has to have titar in the back right he has to have titar in the back and i think that's what he's waiting to get out here let's just let's just see how this plays out Wait, i don't know i don't know what is he going to do what is this fool going to do and i can eventually parting shot on him as well minus him again or i can just double into him and just pick up the ko i'm surprised he didn't go for a follow of me like that was a bold play but it paid off pretty strong for him i could have went to that absorb i could have went to absorb and just owned up this battle it easily, easily, easily. Here comes the Dynamax. Now it's coming up here. What you want, fool? I'm coming for you. What did that Tokus even go into? That's wait. What did the Tokus go into? Like what move did the Tokus use? It didn't go for a pile of me. We dropped the resonance on it. Plus it did. I, I totally forget what the what the Tokus went into. Bruh. What the heck did that thing do? I don't even know, but it's fine. Big out comes out. Bop. See you later, punk. Get it going. Get going, kid. That thing goes down, and this thing's going to drop a uh, Quake into my, hopefully, Lapras. We have a Roar Veil. Yep, Lapras. And it doesn't even take out. He's just going to boost his special defense, and we're going to be able to drop Rain on this thing. Big old Max Geyser. That's totally fine by me. Nice Max Geyser. Set the Rain, too. He's probably going to go into T-Tar. Which is, uh, that's fine. He goes into T-Tar. Should be able to do some nice old damage to this thing. But now my Flare Blitzes aren't going to do too, too much. But he's got to go into T-Tar, right? If he goes T-Tar, I might just parting shot and switch out. And be like, see you later, I'm out of here, fools. And drop the thing's uh, physical attack. Hmm. That thing's weakness policy. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. This thing's plus three now. Okay, now, now we're sitting in a tough spot. Weakness policy x control? Like, bruh. Bruh, I was not expecting that. Now, mm. And here comes T-Tar. Changing the weather up. Um, I think I go into Flare Blitz here. I think I have to go into Flare Blitz. Right? No need for parting shots. We should just go into a flare, but how this works out. Right? That thing was weak as possible. Let me check the info. Oh, my. Oh, oh, look at those stats, dude. Those stats are insane. Uh, but we do have that up. I'm going to throw a server on him. And if I can do this, this could be huge. If I can take out this extra with a flare, but that could be honestly huge. Your effective steel. Yo, that's big old damage on the steel types. It's big old damage. That fire is big old damage on the steel types. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get this off. Quick's coming out here. Go after my Lapras again, please. Go ahead, boost your special defense. And we go after Incineroar. Ah! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Now I'm hoping my Lapras wakes up and just hands out some free weapons. Do I take. Like. That's the thing. If I bring in Rabombe, do I take speed? Or do I speed swap into the Lapras? Like, this thing's just so fast right now. I need this thing to wake up. There goes my weakness policy. If we wake up, we're sitting pretty. If we wake up, we're sitting pretty. Like, 100%. We wake up here. Come on, wake up, Lapras. Bruh. We woke up there. That was probably game in the bag. Okay, uh, Sylveon could come out here. I had to force a Steel Spike to come over here. Like, that's my, this is my, like, last option here. We gotta kind of force a Steel Spike to come over. But I'm definitely gonna throw a Mystical Fire over into that, uh, the extra drill. And he might actually throw a Steel Spike into me. That's what I think is actually gonna happen. I'm gonna Hydro Pump. Over on T-Tar, and I'm gonna go uh, protect. I'm gonna go protect right here, not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna protect, hoping a steel spike comes across, and then we can be able to eat it up. That's what I'm hoping. I'm, I'm hoping that he thinks, okay, Lapras, I don't really have to worry about it. I can drop a rock slide on that and do work from there. It's like, if this thing wakes up, like T-Tar is gone, we're chilling fine. Protect comes out, and then I can speed swap, take out extra, and kind of roll out from there, and maybe pick up the win. 
But yo, that speed's coming in hot, and he goes for a quick. He's going into my Lapras, man. He would've went into Steel Spike. Oh no, he goes into my Silvio without a Steel Spike. He just wants to boost his special uh, defense, which is rather smart. Which is actually rather smart. He just wants to boost his special defense. But come on, Lapras, I need you here. Lapras, I need you. He's probably going for the rock side. We blocked that. Lapras is going to wake up and he's going to flinch. He's going to be like, bro, yo, what you mean? Let's see it. Let's see it. He does some more damage on us. Ooh, eats it up still. And wake up, Lapras. Bro, what you mean? Big old sleep. Big old sleep's coming in from Lapras. And, yo, this match is not looking good. Sandstorm teams are always rough to play up against. Always, always rough to play up against. You guys know it. He's just going to go into the Iron Head here. Oh, this, one, this one's pretty much wrapped up. I need this thing to miss or something. I'll go Hydro Pump into this thing, and if I get a mystical fire off, then maybe then maybe we can pick up some KOs, but uh, not looking good. Not looking good for us, guys. That Yawn got us big early on. Got us big early on. That's what he went for. I was thinking of what move he went for turn one, and he went for the Yawn. That's what it was. Sylveon. No, don't go down. <laughs> Come on, guys. We gotta do it for the Jeans Online Gaming Community. Come on, baby. We won it. <laughs> Iron Head. See you later, Sylveon. Go on, get out of here. Hmm. Lapras, I, I, well, I need a C-Tar to miss, and I need Lapras to actually uh, KO here. Rockside comes out. And he's been connecting these rock sides all day. There's no lie, all day these rock sides have been connecting. That's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Usually the rock sides don't connect like that. But now my Roar Bell wears off, and it all comes down to the Honeycomb mascot, not Honeycomb, Honey Nut Cheerios mascot. Or the B-Movie mascot, Barry B. Benson over here. We got Rabombe chilling here. And uh, does Rabombe go for a kill? No, Rabombe saves his own life, and we're going to run this battle. Yo, GG to this guy. He won that one early on. Once he got that yawn off in a three-turn sleep, like, I thought we had a chance if we would have woke up early, but nah, we didn't wake up early, and that sandstorm ran us. Another solid G-Max Lapras team, and this one actually might be my favorite, considering just the Rabombe plays you can make. You can speed swap, you can throw it all around, you can pile and puff for heal, you can trigger your own weakness policy, and you can just run battles with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.